Well, goddamn, what's going on, fellas? Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy, and we are back once again playing some more of Marvel's Future Fight. And for today, I wanted to give you guys one final look at my tier 2 level 70 Luna Snow with other gears at 25 before we make that final plunge and advance her to tier 3 to unlock this amazing ability right here now since last time around we focused pretty heavily on corvus glaive this time around i'm actually going to be showing you guys my highest clear against ebony ma in world boss ultimate and we're also gonna have some fun with her in gbr so you guys can see how she performs there as well now because of the nature of the beast as you all know i like to do comparisons so i've been testing out my luna snow and actually comparing her to my psylocke and of course my baby my one true love scarlet witch i wanted to see how luna snow at level 70 with all the gears at 25 stacks up to my psylocke build similarly with her gears at 25 and my wanda with her gears at 25 i wanted to see what is the best she could do against ebony ma compared to these two other titans okay and as of right now the highest stage i can clear using my scarlet witch is actually stage 57 stage 57 with the mythic uniform this mediocre obelisk right here fully awakened i so set gears 25 and the highest stage I can clear using my Psylocke with Gears 25. I also said almost fully awakened. We have this 110 proc, which I know you guys are still going to roast me for because we actually have an ignore dodge mind damage 200 percent damage proc sitting in the inventory for her but your boys being stubborn still trying to get double mind damage with a 200 percent proc however right even like this my baby can actually do stage 53 against ebony ma so 57 for wanda no ctp 53 for Psylocke with this 110 proc. So where does Luna Snow sit compared to these other two Titans? I could keep you guys here all day showing you, but I know some of you guys are getting tired of those really long videos. So I'm gonna tell you guys, Luna Snow, as of right now, as of me making this video with a heroic uniform, a 160 proc, which is better than what I have on my psylocke but a little bit worse than what i have on my baby scarlet witch with a half awakened iso set she actually sits at stage 49 so she's in the third spot years at 25 level 70 a uniform she's actually in the third spot she's actually behind psylocke no uniform yeah i was actually pretty shocked that my psylocke was outworking luna snow this comparison was actually very scary for me because if she's already at 53 no uniform with a 110 proc a 200 proc and a uniform later in the future what are we looking at and this is actually what was scary to me because the reason why i even did this comparison in the first place is because similar to luna snow she has five seconds of crowd control that you can apply to any world boss, right? That's why I did this comparison in the first place because I thought, you know, Luna Snow has five seconds of entice. Psylocke has five seconds of mind control. It's basically the same thing, right? So you would think they'd be around the same level or Luna Snow would be higher since she has a uniform and a better damage proc, but Psylocke actually bested her that was scary to me scary to me boys scary to me right but i will keep you guys here all day man we're gonna jump into world boss ultimate this is not the shit on luna snow she's very impressive because she's already passed my tier 3 thor she's already passed my tier 3 thor thor for me taps out at 47 48 against ebony ma right this is tier 3 thor with a ctp of destruction a mythic uniform even though his iso set is not fully awakened so he could probably push up to like 49 but still 
tier 3 Thor already being bested by my Luna Snow, right? But Luna Snow is being bested by my Psylocke. It's just crazy, boys. I'm hoping that once we unlock this tier 3, she moves up to like 55, 56. I'm hoping, right? For me, I know most of you guys with a CTP of energy on her, you might be able to push up to 59, maybe even 60. But I still think she's going to be behind Scarlet Witch, which is kind of disappointing. But at the exact same time, it's Scarlet Witch, baby. So what do you expect? Anyways, man, let's actually jump in. Oh, yeah. Before I do that, let's actually roll this thing and see if we can get lucky. I want some boost points or I want some crystals. Nothing else. But with my luck, we going to get gold. Actually, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's better than the gold that was up next. But anyways, man, let's jump in and have a little fun with her. All right, boys, button mashing at its finest, okay? That's basically all we do with Luna Snow. We just mash buttons and win, right? If you want a good rotation, you could go something like one cancel, four cancel, three. Or you can go one cancel, four cancel, five. It's completely up to you. But for me, pure chaos, man. Because her skills refresh at such a rapid rate, I don't even bother worrying about her rotation. I worry about her survivability because since I'm canceling the four skills so often, I'm losing an additional heal. So I worry about her survivability more than anything else, especially against Ebony Ma because he has a couple skills that can basically one-shot her. Like that skill where he, I, I think it's his four skill with the uniform where he iframes and summons those shadows to chase you down. Yeah, those can basically one-shot Luna Snow. So I be very careful. I'll be very careful when that skill is performed. I got to watch what he's doing here. Okay was trying to make sure I wasn't in my fifth skill because that would have bodied me like she moves so slow. Okay, we're going to rush him here, see if we can catch him. Got him! <laughs> we're actually a little bit behind because I'm not using a proper rotation against this guy. Ideally, for maximum damage, you should be proccing on the three skill. The three or the five, it doesn't even matter. But I think the three does a little bit more damage. But I'm just spamming right now. Spam city, baby. Yo, Scarlet. Too clutch with the mind control. Too clutch with the mind control. Basically getting 10 seconds of mind control every time. It's just amazing. I know most of you new players are probably thinking, what are you talking about? Why did you say 10 seconds of mind control even though it only says 5 seconds on your skills? When you play with Scarlet Witch, hit the mind control one time and just stand in place for 10 seconds and see what happens. It's actually 10 seconds. Five is listed, but it's actually 10. Which is why she's so OP because the mind control is longer than her skill cooldown time. <laughs> oh my goodness. I wonder if Netmarble thought about that when they were doing it. I feel like it was just a happy accident. All right, run. Pace to clear this but anything could happen in the second phase, so I gotta kick things into gear and try to proc properly. All right. Oh, oh, I, I thought he was gonna do the other skill. I think, is this his fifth skill? Yeah, the Dark Meteor. That skill is so annoying. If you get caught while you're in your fifth, straight bodied. His four and his fifth with his uniform can basically one-shot Luna Snow. You just gotta be real careful. Got the mind control in effect. Oh my goodness. We got this. We got this. We got this. I don't want to count my chickens, as mama would say. Never count your chickens before they hatch. But uh, we're going we to try to be careful. While being super reckless at the exact same time. I know it sounds crazy. And that's because I am crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hopefully we don't end up getting killed though. Because literally all it takes is for him to use his dark meteor attack, which will target me while I'm in an iframe. And if I'm not paying attention, I'll just get bodied immediately. Or he can do that and that might guard break me, but we're good. Nice. 
got him with the entice. Yeah, because if you get guard broken and then he hits you with the dark meteor, you don't get enough. Woo! Oh, hold up, hold up. <laughs> We're so lucky, bro. I was in the immunity from the fifth. Otherwise, toast. Toast it, guys. Hold up, hold up. What is he doing? Okay. Yo, I'm absolutely loving the entice now. It's so much faster. So much faster than before. That was so close. Kind of feels like the damage slowed down a little bit. I can't lie. It's taking me so much more damage to take off a bar. Either that or I'm playing worse because I'm so like paranoid that he's going to try and hit me with the dark meteor. Like that skill is just scary, bro. Like it literally could happen at any moment in time and just completely ruin the run. But uh, it looks like we got it here. Two bars left, one minute. I'm still waiting for him to do it. <laughs> oh, Scarlet. Ease of, oh my goodness. Absolutely love her. Whenever she pops in and hits that four skill, man. Oh my goodness. Like it just gives you that peace of mind knowing that you're safe for the next 10 seconds. There's nothing that can kill you. Well, that's not true. That's not, that's not necessarily true. The stage effects can definitely kill you, but you don't have to worry about the boss, right? It's just, oh my goodness. It's like magic. That's because it is magic. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, it's taking way longer than it should. Honestly, we should have finished this up already, man. But uh, the timing on the proc been terrible this entire run but uh this should show you this is like the bare minimum right 49 is what we can do with the right now i know most of you guys if you have a ctp fully awakened set even without the tier 3 you could probably do stage 50 honestly you probably could but anyways let's jump out of here and jump over into giant boss raid see what it looks like All right, boys, so we actually have some pretty good teammates here. We have a tier 3 Deadpool, a tier 3 Magneto, a level 70 Psylocke, a level 70, or oh, someone left already, goddamn, and a level 70 Gambit. All of these characters are heavy hitters, so this should give us an idea of how well my level 70 Luna Snow performs compared to those characters. I was expecting it to be much closer, like, really? You mean to tell me that my Luna Snow is that much stronger than this guy's tier 3 Magneto and this next guy's tier 3 Deadpool? That's kind of unfortunate. Well, actually, <laughs> I don't know if it's unfortunate. I was expecting, like, a real challenge, so I'm thinking maybe their tier 3 characters are not built properly because the gap shouldn't be that big, man. I don't think my tier 3 Deadpool could lose this badly to a tier 2 Luna Snow. But then again, since this is giant boss raid and Deadpool's all defense down doesn't apply in here, that might be why the Deadpool is taking such a big hit. But then what about Magneto? Magneto should have a 50% damage increase against Sentinel. Right? I don't know. Maybe their characters are not built well. I saw tier 3 and I thought, huh, this would be a good uh, comparison because Magneto's tier 3 skill actually hits pretty hard. It's just that the rest of his skills are pretty crap in terms of damage. But all he really takes is for Magneto to get a really good uniform. And then he's back in the fold. When that happens, I'll definitely tier 3 him. But for now, I'm going to let him sit at level 70. If you guys want to see some level 70 gameplay with Magneto, let me know. But he hasn't really changed much. And that's why even though I have him ready to be level 70, I have my level 68. I'm just putting it off. I have the bios ready for him. But I haven't really noticed that big of a change in his DPS, so I haven't even bothered playing with him much. Kind of sad. The uniform is a disappointment for me. I can't lie. Am I lagging? I feel like there's a lot of lag here. Maybe it's because of all the debris from Magneto that makes it look like it's lagging. Oh, crap. We got to move. Oh, it's not even on me. That's fine. <laughs> somebody actually it's on a Deadpool, so he should live. I was gonna say somebody's about to die, but everybody's still alive. That's good. 
It's actually surprising because I think the guy who has the Deadpool, he already left, right? And his Deadpool is actually holding it down and not dying. That just goes to show how awesome Deadpool is. Shout out to my guy Wade. Even when he's being played on auto in GBR. Wow, both of these guys left now. Okay. Did, did, did his Magneto die? Maybe that's why he left. I'll check in a second. I don't want to get clapped. I'm trying to click on something that's not really important. Because whether or not he's alive or dead, it doesn't really change the fact that we still have to kill this guy. Next time he's off the map, I'll double check. But I feel like that's probably the reason why he left. Either that or he got disconnected. I get disconnected pretty frequently. So sometimes when I see people leave, I don't automatically assume that it's because someone died. Because, ooh, because uh, yeah, I've gotten this guy down to like one or two bars left after basically soloing the whole thing my damn self. And then the game kicks me out because of some dumb shit. So yeah, it's really frustrating. They really got to work on the connectivity level for this damn game mode. Oh crap. I wonder if we'll be able to crack this. Let's see. Let's see if my Luna's... What? No, I don't feel like I cracked that by myself. I feel like that DP is putting in more work than we're giving him credit for. Oh, actually, the Psylocke is out. Yeah, he definitely lost his Magneto. That's probably why. Actually, Psylocke put out a good amount of damage. Yeah, his entire team is getting wiped. Honestly, Psylocke, I hope whenever she gets a uniform, they find a way to incorporate a heal in there. I know she shouldn't necessarily have a heal, but I feel like that's basically the only thing Psylocke is missing. If she gets a heal, that might push her to rival Scarlet Witch, and that is insanity. Because Psylocke is already a freaking monster. The only thing I can see that makes her better is a heal. She already has long eye frames, damage immunity, mind control. All I want for her now is a heal. And we straight. So what, just under five minutes, four minutes in 59 seconds. We completed this thing, 66% of the damage, boys. That's how we rocking, that's how we rocking. Luna Snow, tier two, Gears 25. She's actually a freaking beast. The tier three is not required, but I look forward to seeing the improvement that it provides once we attain it. But that is it for this one, boys. Like always, thank you so much for watching. Leave your thoughts in the comments, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hope you guys had a happy holiday, man. Hope you guys got lots of presents for Christmas if you celebrated. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace and love. And I'm gone.